In the depths of Psalm 27 lies a power and promise you may not have seen yet, a hidden blessing waiting to be uncovered. Think of this. What if, in the very verses you have read before, there is a treasure that could transform your heart and life? Today, I want to take you beyond the familiar to reveal insights that can transform the way you see God and bring tremendous breakthroughs into your life. As we explore the scripture in Psalm 27, know that this is more than just words on a page. This is a specific promise from God to you. God himself is inviting you to a place of courage, a refuge stronger than any fear. I will pray a powerful prayer with you, based on the ancient words of David, releasing God's power, blessings, and peace into your heart. Stay with me until the end and let the words of this psalm seep into your spirit, shaping your faith in ways you have never experienced before. Watch this video to the end. Allow these hidden truths to take root in your heart and play it again whenever you need an outpour of God's blessings. Psalm 27 is a scripture of courage, faith, and unshakable trust in God, a powerful reminder of who God is in the midst of our battles. Yet, what if I told you there is more to this scripture? These verses hold mysteries, profound assurances, blessings waiting to be unlocked, and truths designed to elevate your faith. Penned by David during some of his darkest days, it is a psalm that speaks to the depths of human fear and the heights of divine assurance. David, facing enemies and surrounded by threats, declares his unshaken confidence in God. Today, as we uncover this powerful psalm, we will see how David's journey can inspire us to stand firm in faith no matter the battles we face. So let us open ourselves to the hidden blessings embedded in these words, promises that still hold power for us today. And at the end, we'll come before God in a prayer filled with expectation and faith, asking Him to reveal those unseen blessings in our lives. Blessings that can bring healing, breakthrough, and a new depth of His presence. In a world overshadowed by fear and anxiety, David begins with a radical declaration in verse 1 saying, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Here David made a bold declaration, saying that God alone is his guidance, his deliverance, and his strength. When God is your light, no darkness can overpower you. In John chapter 1, verse 5, we read that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus is that unquenchable light, pushing back every shadow that tries to consume us. Just as light breaks through darkness, God's presence breaks through the confusion and fears in our lives. Jesus declares in John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. David understood this truth. He knew that God's light provided direction and hope amidst his darkest struggles. I don't know what your struggles might be today. I just want you to know that your deliverance has come. For the Lord is your salvation. He shall rescue you and bring you to a safe place where you shall bask in peace. God is not a distant deity. He is your present refuge. He is your protector and he will shield you from the storms of life. Remember the story of the Israelites crossing the Red Sea. They stood trapped between the sea and Pharaoh's army, facing what seemed like certain death. Yet God parted the waters, proving that he is their salvation. Just like the Israelites, when we declare God as our light and salvation, we affirm that no threat, no trouble, and no force in this world can shake us. The same way he parted the waters for them, God will make a way for us in our most difficult moments. Verse 4 of Psalm 27 says, One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. David's deepest desire was not power or fame or even riches, but closeness with God. He asked for God himself. David knew that true peace, joy, and security are found in God's presence. Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, that we should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to us. When we seek God first, 
we will discover that every other thing we need will be seamlessly given to us. So do not push God aside in the quest for other things you desire. Seek God first, and you will find every other thing that you need in life. Verse 5 says, For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. This verse is a powerful reminder of God's protection over our lives. David acknowledges here that in times of trouble, God is shielding us and wrapping us under his protective wings. Just as Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Imagine being caught in a fierce storm, wind howling, thunder crashing, rain pouring. Yet in the midst of it all, God provides you with a hidden shelter, a safe haven from the chaos around you. When you feel the weight of life's storms, remember that God is lifting you above the turmoil, placing you high upon a rock where no harm can reach you. Think about the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They faced one of the fiercest trials, thrown into a blazing furnace for their faith in God. Yet God's presence was with them, shielding them from harm. God became the fourth man in the fire, and the fire could not touch them because God himself was their hiding place. So when you feel overwhelmed, my dear friends, remember this verse. Remind yourself that God is with you. He is your fortress and your strength. In verse 7, David says, Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. This verse captures the raw, honest cry of a heart in need. There's something powerful about coming to God openly, laying down your pride, and simply asking, Lord, I need you. When you're in that place of desperation, let go of formalities. Speak to God as you would to a close friend, knowing he is there, listening. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 encourages us to approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We ought to be vulnerable with God. Sometimes we feel we have to come to God with perfectly crafted prayers or hold back our emotions. But David shows us that it's okay to pour out our heart to God. God doesn't turn a deaf ear to our cries. When you reach out to him, he listens. Your voice matters. He is close and cares about you like a compassionate father. God's heart is moved by your sincerity and his mercy is ready to meet you. So don't hold back. Lay your burdens before him, confident that he will respond with grace and compassion. David declares in verse 8, you have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. This verse speaks of intimacy with God, a call to seek Him, not just for blessings, but to truly know Him. When God says, seek my face, He's inviting you into the deepest parts of His heart. It's like a parent asking a child to spend time together, not because the parent wants anything, but because they simply want to share love and connection. David responds with a heart ready to seek God's face. He's not chasing after what God can give. He's pursuing God himself. This is a reminder that God desires a relationship with you. He wants to be more than just a source of blessings. He wants to be your closest companion, your confidant, your guide. Oh, what depth of love that God, the creator of all, wants a personal relationship with you. In James chapter 4, verse 8, we are told, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Why don't you take a moment to pause each morning uh, to intentionally seek God's presence, whispering, Lord, I just want to be with you today. My beloved friends, let this verse be your invitation to a deeper, more personal connection with God that fills your soul with peace and purpose. Finally, in verse 14, David concludes with a call to patience and trust, a challenge to wait on God and trust in his divine timeline. Waiting is hard, especially in times of struggle. But it's during these seasons that God works in us, growing our faith and preparing us for what lies ahead. Think of a farmer who plants a seed. The growth happens slowly, 
unseen beneath the soil, but with time a sprout breaks through and a harvest eventually follows. Waiting on God is like that. When we wait, we're allowing Him to work in ways we cannot see. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 reassures us that those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Remember Abraham, who waited years for God's promise of a son. Even in the long silence, God was faithful, fulfilling His word. In your own waiting, remember that God is working, even when you cannot see it. He's never late, and His plans are always worth the wait. So whenever you feel weary, encourage yourself with these words, my dear friends. Now to all those within the sound of my voice, let us come before God in prayer with hearts full of gratitude, trusting in the promises of Psalm 27. I want you to open your hearts and pray this prayer with me. Let us pray to our righteous and loving God. Heavenly Father, we come before you in total submission, knowing that you are the only true God. You are our light, our salvation, and our stronghold. And we thank you for the unfailing love you pour into our lives each day. Thank you, Lord, for being the one who goes before us and stands beside us in every season. In moments when we feel surrounded by darkness, you are the light that guides us back to your love. When fear seeks to consume us, you remind us that you are our salvation. Thank you, Lord, for never leaving us and for being the strong foundation we can build our lives upon. Father, we praise you for the beauty of your presence. And today, we ask that you draw us closer to you. Just as David longed to dwell in your house forever, let our hearts continually seek your presence above all else. Help us to gaze upon your beauty, Lord, and find strength, joy, and purpose in knowing you more deeply. In our times of trouble, remind us that you are our shelter, that you cover us with your grace, and that nothing can touch us when we are hidden in your love. Lord, you are the God who lifts us up. In moments when we feel low, weak, or overwhelmed, you raise us high upon a rock beyond the reach of harm. We ask for your divine covering over our lives, our families, and our loved ones. Lift us above the noise and distractions that we may hear your voice clearly and follow you faithfully. Father, we cry out to you with all sincerity. Hear us when we call upon your name. Be gracious to us and fill us with your mercy, for we need you every moment. Just as David cried out, we too seek your face, Lord. May our hearts be stirred to pursue you passionately, to draw closer, and to know you as our closest friend and most trusted guide. We don't just seek your blessings, Father. We seek you, because we know that in your presence we find everything we need. Teach us, O Lord, to walk in your ways. Guide us along the path of righteousness and truth, that we may live lives that honor you. Help us to trust in you more than our own understanding, for we know that your wisdom far exceeds our own. Lead us, Lord, in the paths that bring life and peace, and grant us the courage to follow you even when the journey is hard. May our steps be steady, and may our hearts stay anchored in your truth. Dearest Father, your word reminds us that every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights, in whom there is no shadow of turning. Lord, we ask that you pour out your blessings upon us, blessings that bring joy, peace, and fullness of life. We seek your blessing over our families, our homes, our work, and every area of our lives. Father, as you blessed David, Bless us with your steadfast love and guidance. May your hand rest upon us and lead us into places of abundance and favor. We pray for blessings that overflow, not just for ourselves, but for everyone around us, that we may be a blessing to others, reflecting your heart and generosity. Lord, may your blessings enrich our lives and help us grow in faith, hope, and love. And Father, we ask for the strength to wait on you, 
to trust in your perfect timing and plan. In times of uncertainty, give us courage to stand firm, knowing that you are working all things for our good. Help us to be strong, to wait upon your promises, and to find renewed strength in the hope that only you provide. We lay down our worries and anxieties before you, and we choose to rest in the assurance that you are God and you are in control. Father God, as we meditate on Psalm 27, we are reminded of the hidden blessings that come from walking in close fellowship with you. We ask that you reveal to us the fullness of your grace and help us to understand the depth of your love and protection. May we experience the hidden blessings of courage, peace, and unwavering faith that come from being in your presence. Let every fear, every doubt, and every worry dissolve in the light of your glory. We pray for breakthrough in every area of our lives. Lead us into new opportunities, divine connections, and abundant breakthroughs that will testify of your goodness. May your favor go before us, making crooked paths straight and guiding us to places of blessing and purpose. Lord, May your hand be upon us, bringing healing where there is brokenness, strength where there is weakness, and hope where there is despair. Father, we ask that you fill us with a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit. Empower us to live boldly for you, to stand firm in the face of adversity, and to be lights in a world that so desperately needs you. Help us to walk in love, humility, and obedience reflecting the heart of Jesus in all that we do. Give us the courage to face every challenge, knowing that we are not alone, for you are with us, strengthening us and lifting us above our circumstances. Lord, we pray for your protection over our minds, hearts, and spirits. Guard us against the lies of the enemy and help us to stand firm in the truth of your word. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When the storms of life come, may we find refuge in your presence, and may our hearts be anchored in the unshakable foundation of your love. And as we wait on you, Father, we choose to trust in your perfect timing. We know that every delay, every detour, and every unanswered question is part of your divine plan. Teach us to wait with patience and expectancy, knowing that you are faithful to fulfill every promise. Help us to see your hand in every detail of our lives and to recognize your presence in every season, whether in abundance or in trial. Lord, we lift our voices in praise and thanksgiving, for we know that you are already at work on our behalf. We thank you for the miracles, the healing, and the blessings that are unfolding even now. We thank you for being our God, our Savior, and our friend. May our lives be a living testimony of your goodness and grace, drawing others to the beauty of your love. We declare today that you are our light, our salvation, and the stronghold of our lives. We have nothing to fear, for you are with us, guiding us and sustaining us. May we walk in the assurance of your presence, and may our hearts be filled with peace, joy, and strength as we place our trust in you. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering our prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare these blessings upon you. Type praise Jesus below if this prayer blessed you. Remember to subscribe. To God be all the glory. May his grace and peace be with you.